the day is here. The day is here. It's here. The man it's said, come dress. And uh, me, I dressed. I had to put on it Ooh. everything I have. Yeah? I you, you finished it? I finished everything. And I know that is like your Christmas ah, message. Ah, ah, he's here. Ah, ah, the man is here. Put one. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We are here. We are excited. We are waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I tell you, this is awesome. Oh, yes. Yes. Tell us, tell us, tell us. We are, we are, we are all anticipating. Anticipate no more. Mm. Because, I mean, you know, I know her as a splendor of beauty. When she marches in here, you guys are going to be silent. It will be like a silent night. Ah. Yes. But, but, but you hear how the man has changed. His English has, there is no longer English easy words. There is now splendid words. Hey! This girl, man, actually, she is the cutest cute. Eh? Uh -huh. She is the prettiest pretty. Uh -huh. She is the queenest queen. Uh -huh. Banang. Uh, yeah. I really can't wait. She's about to reach here. Any time from now. At first we are ready. We are waiting. No problem. No problem. Are you wishing? They are counted. Yeah. You're welcome, Queen. Yeah, you can sit at home. I mean, yeah. Please be seated. Hey. Poor Isaac. reflecting. So please, you have done so much in his life. Mm. I, oh, no, please. Shout to your friend. It is his choice. Choice from where? Choice from where? This is a fool equation. You see? A fool. No, no fool equation. No, no, no. Imagine now. At 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 what? At sixty, you will be walking like this, bending. How do you because have, of the height. How do you have her? How do you have her? But but you guys, do you see you're breaking my stigma this time? No, tell them. Not breaking. Okay. We are telling you the truth. You can't marry such a woman. A woman. She's even no queen. Of all things, Imbu a queen. No. Mm. I have remembered it. Emma, do you remember as you go to Nasana? That witch doctor down there. Uh, ah. Now, that girl is the daughter. Yes? No, no one is the daughter. That girl is the daughter. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This man, eh? By the way. No wonder. How says there are witch doctors? There are witch doctors. 
nurses. They may put them. How do you bring a witch? A witch, doctor's daughter. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank God you have not eaten anything from here. Huh? Oh, no. Really? This guy is not. I mean. Can you walk? Oh, yeah. Assure you, you are my queen, and you are here with me. And let me assure you, the king is here. For my queen, she is here. Ah, let's go. Praise the Lord. Good morning, church. I am Reverend Henry. Uh, good to be here, and I want to appreciate the chaplain and the team. For giving me this opportunity to be a preacher. You know, preaching in St. Francis on a Sunday is not uh, something you take for granted. This church has so many wonderful preachers. So, Uncle O, I appreciate. And may the Lord bless you and the entire clergy team. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for today and thank the Lord that we are here. Uh, my family has been well introduced. One that for some of you who don't know, I have a doctor in my house and a lawyer. And the, do the doctor sat P7, and we are waiting, uh, January. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and then we have the lawyer uh, who is going to P3. So we are, we are praying. <laughs> uh, so we will have a landy friend in our house. And uh, this lawyer yesterday told us, my university will be where we pray from. I asked him, which one is that one? He said, Makere University. So he's, he knows where, what he wants. Amen. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm here to talk about the king. And the topic that was given to us, you've already heard it, the king is here. I want to appreciate, please join me, appreciate the, the, the drama team. <laughs> they, they have actually asked the first question I was going to ask each one of us. What kind of king are you waiting for? What kind of king are you expecting? Uh, just like the Jews of that time, they missed out on Jesus, most of them, because their expectations of a king, of a prophet, of the Messiah, were not met by the king that was presented. Uh, first of all, they thought we are going to have a conqueror. We are going to have a guy who will come and chase out the Romans. And that's why there was a lot of fighting among them. Who will be the prime minister? Who will be the, the vice president? Who will be the, the governor of Bank of Israel at that time? Uh, who will be this? You know, they, they had all those expectations. That's why one of them was the, the, the carrier of the bag of money. Maybe he thought he would be the treasurer at that time. You know, they, they had very many expectations. And when he comes on the donkey to enter Jerusalem, uh, people are, are wondering. And they're asking, who is this? Uh, you know? Then they're all quiet. Then they're told, this is the what? The Messiah. People are, begin to ask, are you sure? Can anything come out of uh, Nazareth? Can anything good come, come out of a carpenter? Can, you know, can, can we have a king from uh, a messenger? I mean, from a stable? Can, I mean, what kind of king is this? The expectations were shut down. Just like today. There are many of us who have lost out on the king that came because of the lies going around in church. Many prophets, apostles, so many names, beautiful ones, have come out and they're saying he is here. He, the, the, the true one is here. The right one is here with all those beautiful names and teachings. And many are lost. They have missed out on the king. I want to assure you that the king is here. He came. He will come again. And he has been with us. And for us to understand this kind of king, we will need to understand his nature, who he is, what he does, and what he wants from us. The king, as the Jews expected, he, they thought that a political deliverer, Maybe like some of us in Uganda today, some people are tired of the 33 years 
They are saying we need someone. That's why maybe they sing, uh, uh, who, who is this one now? Is this younger man who, from Chadond? Eh? Some people think he will be the what? The deliverer. Uh, because they think the other one from the other side has failed three times. They, he cannot. And many others. But I want to assure you, those men, those people were there even the times of Jesus. It's not, it's not, it has not started today. People like that were there, but they all failed. It's only Jesus Christ who came and he does two things. He delivers both politically, but also spiritually. He delivers physically and also in the physical part of it and, and the spiritual part of it. So do not miss out on the king. He's the leader with power. He's the king with authority. And one of the attributes for us to understand him, we must know that he came to rule. And his kingdom is not an earthly kingdom. His kingdom is a heavenly one. So he came from heaven to show us how his kingdom will be in heaven. He came down to tell us the way to the kingdom. He came down to save us from the powers of, of sin. So the, the world was ruled and, and, and the people are, were tired. Sin was hovering all over. So Jesus comes to take us to bridge that gap and tells you, you know, you are tired of sin. You are tired of this. I have come. I will deliver you. That's why he says in Luke that uh, he, he has come to release the captives. He has come to, say, to, to proclaim the year of the Lord. He has come to set us free. So Jesus, the king who is here, is the king who can set us free, who can deliver us. He's the king of justice. This king we are talking about, Jesus. He's the king of justice. When you read Mark 5, 38 through 41, it talks about this. The, Jesus interprets the law in a very different way from the way the law was interpreted. He says, you have heard, it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you, when someone slaps you here, just turn on the what? The next one. How many of us can do that today? If, if I slapped you, would you just turn and I slap again? Or you'll slap back. If someone insults you, would you just keep quiet? Or you call the whole village to come and, you know, do the insult around. You know, this kind of king interprets the law in a different way. He, he is, a woman is brought to him. And uh, be, be, because the, the Jews were more of a, 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 a culture dominated by men, men were right in everything they were doing. Men never sinned. Men, men were, you know, they were all, everything they did was okay. So this woman is brought before him. Teacher, she has been caught in what? In adultery. According to our law, she must be what? Stoned. And I know Jesus looks at them. Some people say he wrote down who has not done it, be the first to, to stone. Some people say, just looked at them, whatever I did, no one knows. But one by one, slowly, they all what? Left. And he tells the woman, go, sin, no more. That's the kind of king who brings justice where there is injustice. He's the kind of king who brings hope where there's no hope. He's the kind, this king, he, he understands our human needs. He is at a wedding and there is no wine. There is no soda. For us, today we understand the sodas. There is no kashira for those of us from that land. And, and he says, okay, bring water. People who did the science say, water is tasteless. Water has no color. Me, I'm not a scientist. I tried some mathematics. I failed, so I gave up. Uh, you know, uh, do, do the things. Uh, this younger boy of mine is taking over from me. At least he's he not a failure like me in the mafia. Eh? Praise the Lord. But he says, he turns this water into a, a, a kashera that he, uh, no one had never what? Tested. Into a juice no one had ever what? Tested. And they ask, what happened? You serve the best last? That's the kind of king who understands the human what? needs. One time he was preaching. 5,000 men gathered there. And where there are 5,000 men, you know there's 15,000 women. 
and 20,000 uh, children. You, you just look here. If you, if you counted the men and women, the numbers are of women are so what? So many. But feeding 5,000 men is not an easy job. This woman has only three men in, his, in her house, but she knows what she goes through with us, the three. We can eat the whole loaf of bread in a day, you know? <laughs> because we are what? <laughs> we are men. When it comes to taking porridge, you can take a couple times two. Because we are what? But this guy fed 5,000 from only two loaves of, two fish and five what? Loaves of bread. And there was even what? Leftover. That's the kind of king who cares, who understands. He's the king that is here. He's the king that was celebrating his birth. He understands, you know, he's the king that heals us. He's our deliverer. He's the source of hope. When, when the storms are high, he is always there. They're in the boat going across the, 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 the lake. And the, 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 maybe it was the boat cruise of that time. And no one was to balance the what? The, 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 the boat. You know? And they're afraid, terrified. And they shout, Jesus, you are just sleeping. We are here what? Dying. You know, I had the testimonies of some of survivors on the boat cruise here. They said, I pray to God for a one more what? Chance. Jesus was there. He woke up and told the storm to calm down. He's a king who has supernatural powers even over the nature. Why? He's the creator of nature. It was created through him. Is this the kind of king who told Peter, come, walk on the water. And Peter also did what? Walked on the water. He's the kind of king who can resurrect even the dead. You know there is this guy, Lazarus? You know when Jesus visits your house, you don't remain the same. Jesus was a friend to his family. He had visited them. He had eaten from their house. He, you know, they, had, they, they, were, they were well known in the whole area. You know, in, in, in Uganda here, if the president visited your house, you will talk about it for, until you die. If any minister comes from your kirani, oh, you want to behave like you are also a minister. So that, that's the kind of, of life. So this king was a, a member of that family. So Lazarus dies. You know, I come from Uganda here. I have Mr. Peter Kiza here. He knows very well what we do. When you die, they give you maybe a best of the casut and then bring lots and lots and lots and they tie you seriously. They make sure they open all the fingers so don't go with the coin. They bring a, a, a cross, they tie here so that your spirit will not come out to disturb them as they share your property. You know, they, they do so many things and they dig a hole and dig deep, tall, deep down there. Bring now, those days they would bring a, a coffin which has even nails. After putting you there, I hammer the nails. So no way of coming, what? Out. That's what happens. I want to believe that was how Lazarus was also tied. He was wrapped and wrapped. And now he's a dead guy there. Three days, smelling, with maggots coming out of him. Jesus comes and tells them, ah, ah, it is okay. I'm the king of life. This guy will what? Live again. He says, Lazarus! And the body comes. <laughs> Tied, you know? Have you pictured that body coming out? You know? Mm -hmm. And then they say, unwrap him, give him what, what? To eat. He's this king that can resurrect the dead cells in your life. He's this king that can give you back life that the devil had taken away. He's this king that can tell you, come, uh, all the storms in your life will come down. That's the king that is here. He's the king above every king. You know, in Uganda here, our king, we love him. I love this king. You know, we have this good history of kings. You know, in those good old days of our kings, he would come around and say, meet my wife Irene, and says, oh, I want this one as my wife. I would just say, thank you, king. Take the woman. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, this king is not like that kind of king who would just say, pick on someone's, no. For him, he brings life. He puts things together. He brings hope to, to, to the situation where there's no hope. This is the kind of king. He has all the authority. He has all the authority. 
He has all things under his, his arm. That's why he could rebuke both the wind and, uh, and the seas and immediately ceases. He calms down situations. And we remember him when entering Jerusalem. He, he, he wants, he sees a, a tree which looks like it has fruits. And, and, and he goes to eat. He looks for fruit, nothing. He rebukes it and it dries out. Signifying how the, 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 the city was. People who looked like they are, they are Christians, they are believers, they are godly. And he rebuked them. That's the kind of king. He's, he's the one who can take away our sins. He's the one who can take away our, our, our sicknesses. So many he healed. Around 19 healings written in the Bible. One of them he just used just dust. Mere dust. Do you know that the dust that you step on and you wash away, oh, I'm too dirty, dust is on me, can be your source of healing? This guy takes dust, spits on dust, where you, 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 you know, some of you go to toilets which are so dirty, then you come and you step on that dust. That's where Jesus speaks, spits on the dust, puts on someone's eyes, and the guy is seeing again. Hallelujah. This kind of king who sees this woman suffering, struggling for 12 years with overbleeding. You know, these ladies, they suffer only three, four days and they say it is painful. This lady, for 12 of what? Years. Can you imagine? And the king says, when, when he is passing, the lady says, I will just touch. And just by a touch, the lady is healed. This is the kind of king where you just touch and you are healed. The best of the story is this guy for 38 years who was on the pool, suffering, no one to help. I made 43 years on 13th December. So five years when I was born, you get sick and you lay down for 38 what? Years. No one to help you. This king comes and says, son, pick up your mat, walk. That's the kind of king we're talking about who is here. Who can tell you, pick up your mat and walk. Whatever is disturbing you, this king who has come can change the situation. He can change your story. He can give you a meaning. That's the kind of king that has come. That's the kind of king that we are celebrating his birth. Please allow him to come. I remember those good old days of Christmas in the village where I grew up in with my grandmother in Masaka. Peace be upon her and as she rested down there in, in, in the village. During those days of Christmas, we could dig around the house. You know, those, there were no plots. This is 50 by 50 or 100 or, or is it even 30 by 20. Those things were not there. So you, uh, the house was down there at the student center and you could dig a, a, a road to the house, sweep it very well, even bring stones right there so that they know Christmas is what? Coming. Prepare. That is the time when you could get a soda called the sweeps seven up. If those of you, some of you don't know these things, you know? That's the time we could expect a what? A soda. No business of being disobedient that time because you would miss on meat. Meat came on on Christmas. Live around these boys of mine who know meat every time they want meat, daddy is there. And you know, they, they always tell you, daddy, whoever they could gavula, whoever they could gavula. You know, some of you don't know that he, when you bring meat, they say, thank you for what? For, for the meat. Eh? Thank you for the meal, daddy. Eh? Daddy is always thanked. When you bring fish, you are thanked. When you bring chicken, you are what? Thanked. You bring beans and peanuts. <laughs> you know? <laughs> In Uganda here, you don't bring genus and, 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 and beans and they say thank you. Bagamba, weba le kutesa. You know? <laughs> but the other one, you, you are what? You are thanked. So this kind of king is telling us as you prepare those things, as you clean around your houses, please clean your heart. I want to dwell in your heart. 
I want to enter your life. I want to change your story. I want to give you meaning in life. I want to bring things uh, new. I want to bring your relationship back. I want to calm down the waves in your marriage. I want to calm down the waves in your workplace. I was reading an article. I don't know how true it is. How I have a 50 sucked or oh, what? I don't know whatever it means. If that's the kind of wave we're going through, the king is in control. And he says, I know. And I am here. May the Lord bless you.